Hi everybody, Bean Meister 22 here. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to set up your own fruit flies. You're going to have to start raising your own fruit flies if you're going to have baby mantises, small dart frogs, or, or, or small bugs, black widows. Ugh. So you, you have to have food for them. So this is how you set up and start growing your own fruit flies. Now first thing, if you get one of these kits online, lay everything out so you understand it. Read the instructions and see what you have in the kit. You might be surprised. The kit will come with a container and it should come with everything you need. So add the dry powder, the fruit fly media, add it in there, spread it all out, make sure there's no weird clumps or anything there and pretty much get it to the level it's gonna be in your container. Now this is the tricky part. I didn't do this the very first time that I've made this and I paid for it. Yeah, really. You need to, it says add water, right? Well, you should pre-boil the water. Boil the water to kill any weird things. And by weird things, they mean creepy crawlies growing in it or mold, really mold spores is the issue. You don't want mold growing in your fruit fly media. Boil the water and then let it cool because you don't want to do this when it's really hot. So let the water cool. And I guess you're hoping that during the time the water's cooling, the little mold spores from the air are not falling in it, because that would mess everything up, right? Add your cooled and pre-boiled water, or your pre-boiled and cooled water, add it in there, mix it around, and get rid of all the clumps. You don't want any pockets of weird dry powder or anything in there. I have done this dozens of times, and let me tell you, it always takes a little more water than they, than they say it should. Otherwise, it comes out really dry, and you don't want it really dry. You don't want it too wet and soupy either. So use the amount of water they say, and then just add a little bit if you need it as you're mixing it up. You don't want to start out all dry, and that's very important. I mentioned you don't want a swampy, soupy thing going on there either. So you got to mix it up really good, and then you kind of get it to the level you want, and bam, you're almost done. All right, so at this point, I'm going to add the baker's yeast. Baker's yeast? I didn't even know it came with baker's yeast. Some of these kits will come with that. It's important for a reason. You can look it up. I'm not going to explain why it's important. So any other little packets of stuff you have, add it at this point. Some kits might come with an extra mold inhibitor. This kit came with a mold inhibitor already in the media. Now add the Excelsior. The Excelsior gives them more surface space, something to cling on to. Some kits use coffee filters or other weird things. Excelsior gives them more square inches to live on.
Now this is probably the most important thing. The very first time I did this, I had no instructions, had no idea what I was doing. I put everything together in the kit, but I didn't do this. This kit does not come with fruit fly eggs. Maybe some kits do. The kits I've had do not. So you need to prime this with fruit flies. So you take some existing living fruit flies and stick it in there. Yes, that's right. What of the little package you're putting in is not fruit fly larva or fruit fly seeds, eggs, or whatever. You have to put fruit flies in there. They will start growing, eating, and multiplying and laying eggs. And then those fruit flies will lay more eggs and more eggs and more eggs. And then you have a thriving fruit fly community to feed your pets. But really, that was the important thing. I didn't do that first time. I didn't add any fruit flies. So eventually it just molded, nothing hatched. Go figure, right? There wasn't anything in there that should have hatched, so yeah. So if you're gonna raise insects, baby praying mantises, they need the small fruit flies. There's several different kind on the market. You know, you'll decide which ones you need. You can get these kits at online pet stores or probably in real pet stores. If you go to Petco, it's where the pets go, you know, you might be able to get it there too. But if you're going to have small insects or small frogs, you're gonna need some small fruit flies to feed them. These are flightless fruit flies. I guess you could try catching some in your kitchen and putting it in there, but you don't want ones with wings, you want them without wings. They don't, ugh, okay? All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching, and to your baby praying mantises, bon appetit. Beanmeister 22 the most dangerous man on YouTube.